What's up, beauty gang, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shalita Trine, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be answering the question that you guys have been asking me about non-stop. Did the Vita Fusion gummies break my hair off? Did the Vita Fusion gummies break my hair off? These gummies right here, did these gummies break my hair off? You guys notice that my hair is a lot shorter than what it is. It's not growing the way that it should be growing. I talk to you guys about it all the time on Instagram, on Facebook. You guys um, have been asking me, have these gummies been working for me? So I'm gonna answer that question for you guys today, detailed as possible in this video. Before we jump into the video, let's address some of the basics. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to join the beauty gang. And also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you don't miss out on any posts from me in the future. Once you've done so, comment down below, Noto Gang with three Gs. If you are a returning subscriber, then hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. Let's get into it. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, did the Vita Fusion Hair Skin and Nail Gummies break my hair off? I just wanna say that everything isn't always what it seems, okay? Yes, I did a video initially reviewing these gummies a while ago where you guys got to see my first impression my opinion of after taking those gummies for the 30 day period what it did to my hair pros and cons that i felt about them in that video i kept it so real with you guys i was completely honest about these gummies and i even compared them to hairfinity gummies which were really really hot back then that video now has nearly 40,000 views and I'm super grateful for that. I had not known that video would take off the way that it did. I thank each and every one of you for it. However, there are still people commenting underneath that video asking me questions about these gummies. And with that much traffic and that, that many people, I may not get to all of the questions in a timely manner. So I decided to make another video to address these gummies and what they've done to my hair in the last 30 days. When you get a chance, when this video is over, go and check out that video compared to this one. Get a look at my first impression on that video. I will link it down below in the description box and I'll also put it up here in the card section as well. Check out that video when you get a chance. Back to this video. So most of you guys also know that I did a one year no heat challenge um, where I went completely heatless with my hair for one year approximately one full year okay um you guys got to see on instagram my growth from that period now you guys are my subscribers you've been rocking with me for a while you know that i'm really really serious about my hair and hair growth and maintaining healthy hair and all of that jazz right so when i did the one year no heat challenge many of you guys were like oh my god that is great i have not um I have not told you guys about that experience in depth, but I will link a picture on the screen showing you guys what my hair did, like how it transformed within that year. So as you can see, um, the picture to the left of the screen is my hair prior to that one year of no heat. And then the picture to the right of the screen, what you see is what my hair did in that transition period. It was healthier, it was longer, it was more, it had more luster, more shine, like it was just great. I was absolutely in love with that. And I was taking the gummies at the time. Now, my hair does not look like that right now. My hair is a lot shorter. <laughs> And if you guys have noticed in a couple of my videos of me doing my hair, you guys have may have noticed a little bit of breakage as well. Um, my hair is going through this weird phase right now where it's not at its healthiest state and it's not doing exactly what I need it to do. And so a lot of you guys have noticed that and you've reached out and you've asked because you guys know I go hard for these gummies. Like these, those gummies are 
they're cheap they're they work they don't break you out it's hard to find some type of supplement with biotin in it that much biotin in it that you don't have to take with a meal you don't have to take at certain times of the day they don't break you out and they're gummies you know a lot of people don't like peels i know i don't like peels that much so i can I, you know i can tolerate it but i don't i don't really like to take peels so if it's in a gummy form I'm all ready to go, okay? <laughs> like, I'm down for the cause. So when I did the no heat challenge, you guys saw how healthy my hair was, and then now it's not the same. By the way, if you want to know more in depth about my no heat challenge and how that was for me, or if you want to join me on another one, comment down below and let me know. I will create a video of that as well and share that experience with you guys. So anyway, I say that to say, my hair isn't where it has been or where you guys have seen it in the past and mind you this is after pregnancy after taking a complete nine months full of prenatal vitamins which are you know supposed to give you healthier hair skin and nails as well and i'm still taking those now because i'm breastfeeding so it's kind of like what's going on like lee your hair is doing the complete opposite of what those vitamins are supposed to make it do you know and some people are like oh you on those prenatals girl your hair is supposed to take off all of that but it's it's not so <laughs> what's what's the issue what's going on let me clear the confusion i have not been taking these gummies at all like now i am but at the time i wasn't when i was pregnant my hair was the last thing that was on my mind okay the last thing and now it shows and now i'm paying for it i have a lot of making up to do with my hair right now and that is why you guys see me trying different products and trying to get back into the group of things because i did take a break with my hair and i'll just let it go like just let it do what it do now after um i gave birth maybe so i gave birth in january february something i went and got my hair cut um i let her cut off all the dead ends anything that even looked like it could have possibly been a dead end she chopped it off and so um my hair is just kind of recovering from that i'm trying to get used to the blunt cut of my hair in its um, natural state it makes it hard for me to protect my ends when they're all the same length I can't really twist them all the way down to the bottom because it's so bulky down there because my ends are just straight across. There are no excess hair to kind of um, thin that twist down to the bottom, if that makes sense. And yeah, so length retention is a little tricky for me now, but I do plan to document this experience with you guys so that you guys can see how my hair is about to do a 360 back to that healthy, great hair that you guys are used to seeing. Now, I have started back taking these gummies. So you guys will be on this process with me getting to see on my hair now. You'll get to, I'll document my length. You, you'll get to see all of that stuff and you'll actually be here in the moment with me so that you can see how these gummies work on my hair now as opposed to then. So I'll be doing a 30 day review. I'll be doing a 60 day review and we will analyze how these gummies are working on my hair, pros and cons. So make sure that you guys are following and subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on those posts about these gummies because they seem to be really really popular to you guys and i want to make sure that i'm giving you the most up-to-date information on these gummies so so yeah i hope that cleared up a lot of confusion for you guys i love keeping it real with you guys i love being honest with you guys if there are any other gummies that you guys want me to try i know um i had two people subscribe to my channel give me uh recommendations on i believe nature's bounty and then i think vita fusion as well but i think it's the pink one um i'm not sure but I have them screenshotted um, in my photos and I will definitely look into trying those gummies out on my hair and giving you reviews on those as well once I'm done with these. So yeah, I hope I answered all of your questions. Make sure if you have any more, comment down below and let me know. I'm really active with you guys in the comments or at least I try to be. So if you have any questions, concerns, comments, they didn't work for you, they did work for you, let me know down below in the comments section. If you made it this far in this video, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Be yourself, be you, be beautiful, and be untamed. Peace out.